Hey everyone, it's your man James Sorrell and I'm here with the YBF.com. I'm on a set of Fox's new series, Star, and I got, I don't even have to introduce this woman. Everyone knows you and everyone loves you. How are you doing, Queen? Hi, it's me, Tina Johnson <laughs> <laughs> from Missouri. <I> <laughs> so, good, Queen, bro. this is this is the first series that you've been on, t television series that you've been on since Living Single. Mm -hmm. that went off in 98. How is it getting back into the swing of things? I was good. I, I think I'm a, I'm a lot more experienced than I was then. Um, and TV is really good yeah. um, these days. And so, like, it's, it's a, to me, it's a perfect time. And I'm doing a Lee Daniels show, so it's like, it's perfect. I'm sure it's so real. I just, just spoke with Lee. When it comes down to, I actually saw the first episode, and wow. I'm excited about it. I'm excited about the show. In my notes, I have you down as the pistol carrying Christian. <laughs> so, t so tell our 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 readers a little about your character. And, and I wouldn't be the only pistol carrying Christian <laughs> in America. I'm sure. I'm sure. No, you know, sure I mean, not. I own a business. I got to protect the money. Yeah, yeah. Um, I th Carlotta is. Uh, she's. She owns this beauty salon, mm -hmm. God's Blessings Beauty Salon. But she's also, you know, she's. Um, she used to be in a singing group yeah. with a, with a girl named Mary, who was her best friend. And um, they kind of went through some ups and downs. Mm -hmm. Mary got hooked on drugs and OD'd and um, had two kids, but yeah. Carlotta was supposed to kind of step in and be a mom to those little girls. She had her own problems as well. Yeah. And so she was out of their lives. They went into foster care. And then one day, after she's come, you know, got it all together, mm -hmm. she's here now. She's been looking for them. Yeah. But then they just show up. Show up with a third girl. <laughs> so now it's three of them, and everything kind of goes off from there. And, and plus, Carlotta already has her own daughter. Yes. Played which, by Amaya Scott. Amaya Scott, yes. yes. I mean, I, I've known Amaya for well over 10 years. Oh, wow. We know each other first. We both are from New Orleans. And obviously, so, there it is right there. There it goes right yes. there. So it was a pleasure interviewing her earlier. If you had, you have your hat, your hands in so much in the industry. Mm -hmm. If you had an opportunity to have to direct a um, a biopic about an all girl group. Is mm -hmm. there anyone in particular that you, uh, any group in particular that you would love to do a biopic about? A biopic about an all girl group. Um, there's, there's so many so good many groups. Of, I know, right? I mean, um, uh, Destiny Child's already had a I, biopic I done about them. Right? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I mean, I thought Jade was a good group. You know, that could be interesting. We've seen TLC. Um, uh, probably the Dixie Chicks or somebody like that. Yeah. You know, I would probably do maybe them because, you know, they were like one of the biggest groups in the world. And I think everyone loved the Dixie Chicks. And, yeah, until they everyone said something them. that was actually true <laughs> and not politically correct, and then yeah. they kind of caught a backlash. But now they're back again because people knew they were right now. Yeah. <laughs> and and um, you know, but just like that, that th that sort of up and down. Mm -hmm. Um, would be kind of interesting to see. I think yeah. that might be kind of cool. Yeah. Or maybe like the I threes, maybe some reggae. You know oh, what I mean? That's on my round right there. behind the Marley sisters right there. I'll go with the I threes. <laughs> so last question. Could be in Jamaica. How is it working with Lee Daniels? I love working with Lee. Dave. You know, I, I love working with Lee. He's got a different style than anybody I've ever worked with before. Yeah. Um, but I completely see it. Mm -hmm. You know, if something's not feeling good, we talk about it. He good. checks in with me, we, we talk a lot, you good. know what I mean? We talk every other night, you know, even good. after work, you know, really? we kind of just digest the day a little bit. Yeah. So we've, we've stayed connected through this whole process, which I really appreciate and respect. Um, and I love his enthusiasm, yeah. you know, he's very enthusiastic. I think he keeps everybody excited about what we're doing. Yeah. And as he sees it, you know, he's like, yo, this is what I'm saying, it's looking so, so good. Nice. And if something's not right, it's like it's so bad. You know what I mean? He <laughs> would honest. say it. You know, he's honest, which is yeah. which is which is uh, you know, it's refreshing. He's very passionate, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? And I and I get into that. I can tell, I can tell. Well, I'm gonna let you know our readers over at the YBF, we absolutely love you. Thank you. We support anything that always. is queen. Yes, Natasha loves you, I'm sure. <laughs> She's geeked about this interview, and I'm geeked about this interview. So thank you so much for all that you've done, everything you should continue you. to do. I wish you blessings. Thank you, same to you, brother. And 
continue to take the industry by storm like you've been doing for years now. Well, y'all keep doing a great job, so I got something to read every right. morning. <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. It's your man, James Sorrell. I'm here with Queen Latifah on a set of Fox's new series, Star. 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 <laughs>